you want to support your Kansas City New Kings, get a shirt with the logo slapped on it and put it on your body. It's pretty cool. Link on the screen and in the description below. Today we have our IBO Season 4, Week 18 versus Tone and the Miami Mallon Marlins. Now, if you remember, we played Tone uh, back in the IBLAL, but he wasn't the original coach in this position. Uh, that coach had to leave, so basically uh, things got put off because of scheduling conflicts as well as the whole confusion with all that. So anyways, I'm going to be going over the team that I built for his squad, and let's first go over his squad. So, he has Mew, Mega Aerodactyl. Uh, Mammal Swine, Komo'o, uh, Salazzle, Umbreon, Jellosynth, uh, Tauros, I almost, I almost called it Toucan for some reason, uh, Bruxish, Gramble, and, uh, Lorantis. I almost, I keep wanting to call it something different, dude. So anyways, right off the bat, Mega Aerodactyl is a huge issue just because of how fast it is. Now, I don't have something that directly is able to counter Mega Aerodactyl. So let's just get underway with the team. First up, we have Hawkins of Jolteon holding Baginium Z with Volt Absorb, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Ice, Signal Beam, and Volt Switch. Uh, kind of a simple set. Thunderbolt and Volt Switch are good. Uh, Sab moves and Thunderbolt just is a very well-rounded move. He only has the one immunity and only one resistance, so, well, two because of Kamo as well, but uh, other than that, it works pretty nicely against the squad. Hidden Power Ice was mainly just because. Shadow Ball wouldn't help me very much. I mean, thinking about it, Shadow Ball wouldn't have been too bad, but I didn't really need it, and I just added Hidden Power Ice. Signal Beam by Guinea Z. Now, I have not actually used a Z Crystal. I have brought it uh, this is my third time bringing it, but I have not had, uh, you know what, I actually, thinking about that, I need to make sure I give my Jolty on that. <laughs> the Buginium Z while I'm thinking about it. But anyways, uh, Buginium Z will base signal me will pretty much nuke most variants of Mew. Uh, it'll hit, he's got, what, two other, po three other Pokemon that are weak to, to bugs, so that works out very nicely. Yeah, Hawkins is kind of my scout, and if I get the chance against Mew, I'm a nuke it with the bug in EMC. So, I have enough speed here to outspeed Max Speed Salazzle, because I cannot outspeed a Jolly, uh... I, I, don't, I don't even remember if I could outspeed Adamant Mega Aerodactyl, but I know I definitely couldn't outspeed Jolly, so I just outsped for the next... Next thing down. That's pretty much it. Max special attack, the rest in HP, uh, and it ends up being odd, so that's very nice. And that's about it for uh, Hawkins here, so pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Megan Fox, the Altaria, holding... I always do that. With Steel Wing, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Return. So now, with this set, this is the second set I, I fiddled around with it. I did have a set before that allowed me to outspeed Salazzle, and that was fine and whatnot, but this, after one Dragon Dance, allows me to outspeed an adamant Mega Aerodactyl. So, uh, provided he is adamant, which I think he will be, because you don't he, he doesn't need to run uh, Jolly specifically. And this is max speed Aerodactyl as well. He won't need to invest max speed to outspeed Jolteon. Uh, Return and Earthquake hit, hit his entire team pretty nicely. Uh, mo hits basically everything for neutral. I'm pretty sure it actually is everything for neutral. Um, it'll work out really nicely. Steel Wing is mainly for Gramble, because that's about the only thing that has any sort of counter to it. Uh, plus, one, plus one or plus two Steel Wing would hurt that Aerodactyl, that's for sure. Nice, and it does get me a technical super effective move against Mamo. As I said, enough speed to outspeed uh, an Adamant Aerodactyl after one D-Dance with max attack, HP enough to where it's odd, and then the remaining in uh, the defense stats. So, hopefully, if I can get a Dragon Dance up, then I have a lot of faith in Altaria for this match. It should be really good. That's about all. Anyways, next up we have Team Captain Walken, the Needle King, holding this scarf set. Well, holding the scarf with Sheer Force, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Surf. Now, uh, this is the first time I think I've actually brought a choice set. I know I'm also bringing one next week because I recorded Week 9 before Week 8 because I believe that I was actually going to be having my Week 9 battle first. That didn't end up happening. That's not important. But uh, we've got the Sheer Force. I do a ton of damage with everything. Sludge Wave just hit so much of his team for at least neutral damage, and it's really nice. Like, Mega Aerodactyl does not want to take it. Um, <laughs> this thing outspeeds Mega Aerodactyl. I'm pretty sure I made this thing... Let's see. I want to... We're actually going to do the 149 here. 
149 times 1 1.5. And that gets us 223.5, which rounds up to 223, and Mega Aerodactyl maxes out to 222. So, it does allow me to outspeed with the Scarf, um, and Earth Power, once again, hits basically everything Earthquake does, and it's a lot of damage. Um, Ice Beam will just be really good. <laughs> and I added Surf, because I didn't really need anything else specifically, but that also gives that gives me uh, a super effective move against the Bamo and Aerodactyl, even though I already have Ice Beam and such, and then Salazzle, so uh, even though I really don't need it for Salazzle, but you know what, it doesn't hurt anything. He doesn't have it, uh, I was going to say he didn't have a Water Absorber, but he's jealous in. Duh. Anyway, <laughs> not important. So this thing is said enough speed, outspeed, uh, max speed, Aerodactyl after or not after, with the Choice Scarf, max special attack to do a ton of damage in the remaining in the defense stats um, to just boost them a little bit. That's about it for Walken here. <laughs> I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So next up we have Bert the Sock holding the band with sturdy Poison Jab, Close Combat, Knockoff, Earthquake. Now, overall, this thing works really, really well. Now, I don't really know specifically what uh, Aerodactyl gets besides Aerial Ace and like Wing Attack, except for Fly. Um, and you probably don't want to run Fly on a freaking Mega Aerodactyl. If I get the chance, Burt will absolutely demolish it with a close combat. Um, this entire moves, moveset hits his entire team uh, for at least neutral, so it just it works out. This thing's gonna be really good if I get the chance to send it in. Um, I was actually, I didn't mention this, but basically, whenever Walken comes in, it's kind of like a guaranteed kill. Because uh, it can just wreck everything on his team with that moveset. But anyway, same with Burt. If Burt can, like, you know, um, depending on what he runs into, he can obliterate with Choice Band. And uh, this set is... Yeah, this is not actually how I put it. <laughs> I actually have the Pokemon here. Um... No way. No, no, no. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? I don't remember if we ran any sort of speed. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't looking at that. Hopefully I have a sock with the same moveset. So I'm going to have to make do. I, this is, I'm pretty sure this is a max. I want to look up and see exactly what it's, what it's moveset. So it's got max HP, max attack with a little bit in special defense, which I can deal with. Um, that is our sock. I mean, it's pretty similar to the set I would bring anyway with adamant nature. So it's going to hit like a truck. I mean, there's nothing really I could have outsped with it that I need to, so, you know, that's about it, um, it's pretty simple, Sock will just run through his team, and that, yep, I, let's, let's just move on, that's enough for, so, uh, for Bert here, next up we have Garen the Dustmord, this is the first time you're actually gonna be seeing I changed this nickname, I mentioned that in week 9 prep, <laughs> anyways, I decided I didn't really like Nor, or whatever I called it, so, you know what, I'm like, King Garen, alright, so we have, uh, he's got leftovers of Frisk with Plane Split, Will with Shadow Sneak and Ice Punch. Um, so Pain Split, obviously this thing is a terrible HP stat, so that will get me more HP back and take a lot more from him, which is really nice. He's got a bunch of physical attackers on his team that scare me. Uh, Kamo'o is... Kamo'o, Mammal Swine, uh, Aerodactyl are all physical attackers. Tauros is most of the time as well. Yeah, Ice Punch just hits a couple of things on his team for super effective damage, so it's like, why not? Shadow Sneak gives me... Uh, stab a little bit of priority so that ends up working out uh he's got one pokemon that resists it so that works out really well as well uh so if i get him to the point where he's super low on health i can just you know go for it you know i'm surprised i didn't bring rocks on this team <laughs> if that bites me in the ass then <laughs> well you heard it here first anyways this thing is my special wall with uh, max special defense with a, call, a careful nature, a little bit in attack, and max HP to the point where it's an odd number. And it's pretty much it for Garen here. He should be... I don't know. I, it's nice to have a special wall, though, because he's got a bunch of good special attackers, too, because Kamao can be special. Salasso's special. Jellicent, special. Um, you know. Anyway. So, pretty cool stuff. And, finally, we have... Azura the Suicune holding leftovers with pressure, Ice Beam, Scald, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind. This is a sub, uh, not sub, uh, pseudo Crocoon set. It's got the Calm Mind, so obviously it can, if I get the opportunity to set up and whatnot, I, that will be, uh, very cool. What can I, like, I can set up on the, the Jellicent, pretty sure. 
Um, cause then I can hit it, hit it with a shadow ball and like obliterate it. So if I can set up Suicune, Suicune could be very, very, very nice. And I don't think he has anything that can specifically Oko it, especially with the amount of, uh, investment I have. So pretty cool stuff. Um, Scald hits a bunch of his team and it has a chance to burn, which is really nice because he's got a, good, a couple Pokemon that I really want to burn. And, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then Ice Beam, just because coverage went up. Uh, anyway, we have a bunch of HP investments, so we have 205. Uh, that's basically, I think, two down. I brought it because it was like max 207. Anyway, uh, put a good amount of defense with a bold nature. Matt, or not max special attack, uh, a ton of special attack and the final two and the others. I couldn't put that four anywhere else. So I'm like, you know what? Let's put it into speed. And in case something tries to creep it, and then I'll, t I'll either tie it or outspeed it or something like that. So anyways, um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, once again, Suicune's such a good Pokemon, and I think it'll really be clutch. This is my physical wall, kind of, for this match. So pretty cool stuff. Anyways, guys, that's why I'm going to be ending this. Really hope enjoyed it. It looks appreciated. Um, yeah, I'm nervous for this match. It's been a while since we faced Tone. I don't remember the result of that match. I do remember, though, his Gar uh, his Garbodor, uh, using Solar Beam, Power of Solar Beam on my Mudsdale. <laughs> uh, anyway, really hope you enjoyed the video. Especially me. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more, and let's go to the